how's it going? Um, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'd like to welcome you to my vlog series. Uh, for those of you that uh, pretty much watch my channel, you know the drill, but I do four things in my vlogs. If you want to know more, I'd suggest going and checking out my channel trailer. So, anyway, what I wanted to let you know is that uh, tomorrow is the start of fall semester 2018 for a lot of colleges across the United States. I'm not sure about the rest of the world, but I know that Georgia State and Georgia Tech are starting their, sm their fall semesters tomorrow. And I just talked to someone at the Georgia Institute of Technology, which again is also known as Georgia Tech. and. They don't start their classes until noon tomorrow, which is very interesting. For GSU, classes start um, as early as uh, 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, and I have two classes tomorrow. I am uh, probably going to be about 18 classes away from graduation, and I'm hoping to um, walk next year. So. At this point in time, I'm under the class of 2019, which is uh, super cool. But I had a word of advice for those of you that are starting college this year. Whether you are on the spectrum or whether you are uh, a regular college student, uh, the first thing to do, especially for you that are, have Asperger's, take it slow. Just because uh, you see people that are bonding and doing really well connecting, that doesn't mean you can't say hello to these people who are, quote, acquaintances. Uh, and if you're not into partying and that doesn't make sense to you, don't get involved in partying. If you're interested in an in anime or if you're interested in computer programming, I would suggest going through orgsync.com. Or if you'd like to learn how to socialize, I would consider checking out these two great sources right here, and I'll put them in the description below. But one of them is Danny Rady from the Asperger Experts. He has some really, really, really great uh, resources for you that I think uh, might be essential. And then, of course, you can check out uh, Daniel Lender. Uh, his uh, program is called LearnSocialSkills.com. And he also was diagnosed with autism, even though he doesn't seem like it. And again, um, you can see him in an interview here. He has a couple of uh, TEDx talks. One of them is on his life, and I haven't seen the other one, but I've met Dan, interviewed him again, but he's uh, just super cool and has a lot of uh, really, really, really unique styles. So uh, you could always use him if you're feeling uncomfortable. Again, I would consider joining some clubs, and I would consider going to the gym to exercise if possible. Um, but if anybody's mean to you or it makes you feel bad because you're different or you're a freak, that's on them. Uh, that just means that they don't understand and it's because they're scared. That's a fear thing. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It just means that they don't understand. The main thing for you to do is uh, get yourself through school, build up some skills, and get yourself out in the, wor the work world. And I would fight for that. So... Anyway, like the rest of you, I mean, I'm an older student, but I'm taking classes. I've been going uh, to school since I was 23 years old, and I'm 36, about to be 37. And uh, I'm self-determined. I mean, I'm not going to drop out. I mean, I already have an, a, an associate's in psychology. I transferred my credits to GSU eight years ago, and I took five years off because I couldn't afford it. Why? Because I just didn't want to take out any student loans. I wanted to wait. I mean, I've been enjoying the journey on the way, but when I first had to drop out, I was sad because uh, I had just started this new uh, journey of my life, and I'd taken a couple of uh, semesters and put money to the side. And then when I lost uh, my job at the warehouse, uh, which was not the best place for me to work, uh, I had to quit doing that. So I yeah, had to improvise for a while and then uh, move on. But now I'm back in the swing of things. Last year was my first semester back, and this is uh, probably my third semester, and I'm not going to quit. I'm going to do whatever it takes. But anyway, for those of you that are new to the university uh, setting, the college setting, take it slow. I mean, and if university isn't for you, I would consider uh, going a trade route because I understand that there's a shortage on uh, trade careers right now. I mean, I could, I mean, I would consider... Um, 
looking into trade options, whether it's cosmetology, whether it's welding, computers, whatever it is, because they could use you as well. But for those of you that are going to stay in the university setting, uh, I mean, shoot, you could even end up working for the university because um, you have a really good knowledge of a topic. And that's a really, really uh, good place to become well-rounded. I mean, I've worked in the university now for almost four years, and I've had a lot of really cool opportunities. And uh, that's something you might consider. Even if you're just a student worker or you just do a, a work-study program, you can open up some doors for yourself. So there are just lots of opportunities. But a few things to keep in mind for those of you who are on the spectrum. Um, Yes, universities can be very loud and overwhelming, especially at some of their events. Uh, but I would suggest trying one or two things. Don't do it all at once. Don't get into the party scene. But if you are into partying and you want to get out there and you have uh, sensory processing disorder, I would suggest putting in earplugs and just taking it slowly. You could also rehearse going to the university and rehearse being around other people before it happens. Uh, but either way, don't be a recluse in your room just because you're having a hard time connecting, just because your roommates are partying, just because your roommates are being mean to you, or just because you're having trouble connecting. Get yourself out there as much as possible because at my university, they have lots of events with lots of freebies, and they ha I've gotten lots of free things, lots of free cups, lots of free t-shirts, whatever. So anyway, uh, I'm going to get going now, but... Uh, I uh, am going to post this later today, and then I want to edit my content as much as possible that I uh, created over the summer for you. But uh, the big news is, is that I've got a new iPhone, and I am getting that ready so uh, I can have a clear picture again. I can't wait because I can do more uh, stuff with uh, uh, <laughs> Some of their special effects with the uh, the time lapses, which I'm absolutely in love with, and then of course the other. But I'm hoping that this phone will have uh, more gigabytes in it. I mean, I'll have to explain later. But um, I'm about to run. However, uh, for those of you that want to know my day in the life, uh, I got myself a new backpack. I know this doesn't make sense to some of you, but the last backpack I had is falling apart because uh, it's older and too. When I had Yeller, uh, which was another cat of mine, uh, he was uh, fixed too late or neutered too late, and he would back up and spray and everything, and he marked his territory on my bag. So it smells of cat urine. So it's finally nice to get a bag. But I got this on sale on Friday for $5 at Walgreens when I was uh, shopping for uh, some things to drink because one of my colleagues uh, was having a baby shower. So... Anyway, I am about to go.